Hi, my name is Lexi Jong and welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, I am somebody who really likes to brighten my life with a little bit of luxury makeup. So today I have with me a box from Sisley. The other day they released their new lip glosses and I couldn't wait to try them so I ordered directly from their website. And when you order from their website, you do have the option of a free gift box, which is this, you know, it's actually textured. So, you know, it's not, it, the black parts are raised. So it's, you know, a little bumpy texture, but I think it's a beautiful gift box. I did not already have a Sisley box. So, all right, so inside it comes wrapped with tissue paper and then we have products. And I was able to pick a few samples. So let's start off with that. The samples are in this little pouch here and I did have my choice of samples. So I picked the um, Black Rose Skin Infusion Cream and the Double Tensor Primer, which is something I've been thinking of purchasing. So I wanted to try it and when I saw it as a sample, I knew I had to get it. So this just comes in a little pouch, which Honestly, I'm not going to use it. I wish they wouldn't do these. I'll give it to my kids and they'll use it for like crayons or something. So. Okay, so these lip glosses retail for 55 US dollars. And this is called the Lafito Gloss. And it's an intense glow lip gloss. They have some shimmer formulas and some without shimmer. So I think I got three with shimmer and one without. All right, so the lip glosses come in a red cardboard box. They are 0.21 ounces or six and a half milliliters. They are made in France. I will have the ingredients listed down below in the description box. And when you look at the box, um, you know, at the top, you have the label for the shade that you purchase. And I purchased three, four, five, and eight. And most of the lip gloss shades have shimmer, but there are some without. Three of the ones that I purchased do have shimmer, and I believe that's what this little star next to the number indicates because three of mine have a star, and then number eight here does not. So let's go ahead and we'll start off with the swatches. All right, so when you open it up, this is what the actual gloss looks like. It is beautiful, beautiful packaging. So you can see the color of the gloss through the clear part of the tube down here. And, you know, I, it's plastic. It is a clear plastic tube. And here is the doe foot applicator. And let's go ahead and swatch this. We'll get some more on there. So this is just a really light sheer pink with some shimmer. And this shade here is number three sunrise all right here is number four twilight and again this one also looks very very pretty so here is this one and honestly i feel like sicily does have a new website by the way and it is much nicer i think than the previous version however i still think their swatches um, need some improvement on their site. I feel like the photos are not not usually all that accurate. Not that they're super inaccurate, but you know, I guess I think the lighting of their swatches aren't great and it'd be nice if they had some color descriptions because some of the glosses looked very similar. And here's number five, fireworks. All right, so these are the three shimmer shades that I purchased. And number eight, Milky Way. This is just kind of a creamy, soft pink. This one does not have shimmer. Actually, that's very light. It's lighter than I thought. Um, it's almost clear. <laughs> so it's just a light, light tint of pink. All right, so looking at these swatches, this one up here is number three, Sunrise, and it is gonna be a soft pink with some sparkle. And the shade of this pink is going to be a little bit cooler toned than number eight, Milky Way, down here at the bottom. So it's just a slightly cooler toned pink, but they are pretty similar. This one's just a little bit more bubble gummy. So um, just a little difference there. And again, Milky Way down here has no shimmer. 
Then this one here, the second one is number four, Twilight. And this is kind of like a reddish pink shade. So it's kind of, it's a soft red with a hint of pink. And it is, you know, it's got some reflect in there that looks a little bit cool tone because the sparkle in there is kind of like a cooler toned pink, but the actual gloss itself is warmer toned. So I actually think that's really kind of cool. All right, and then this one here is number five, Fireworks, and it is a bright, more of a hot pink fuchsia shade. And the sparkle in this is gonna be, you know, a mix of gold and pink. Whereas this one here is more, it looks like more silver and pink. And this one up here is all silver. So we're gonna start off with Milky Way, number eight. So this is number eight, Milky Way. This one's number three, Sunrise. Number four, Twilight. Number five, Fireworks. Okay, so those are the four lip glosses that I purchased from Sisley, and I hope you enjoyed those swatches. Now, just a few notes about the formula. This gloss does have a thicker gloss formula. If you remember the older, more traditional glosses, they were usually pretty thick on the lips and pretty sticky. Um, I actually always had issues getting my hair stuck in them. And nowadays, a lot of the glosses have moved to more of an oilier formula or even a lip oil in general. And, you know, it's kind of taken away some of that stickiness, but they've also gotten thinner in the process. This gloss seems more like a hybrid between that. It has that thick, luxurious feeling on the lips that I feel is going to last really well, um, but it does not have the stickiness. It has more slip like an oil does, but you know, you don't feel any of that like oily texture to it. And I feel like the weight of these is more similar to the Pat McGrath lip glosses, if you're familiar with those. So that's about how thick it feels on my lips. It's slightly thicker than the Chanel Glossomers. So if you're familiar with either of those products, these are slightly thicker than Chanel, pretty comparable to Pat McGrath. Now, just a few more notes about the lip gloss. When you check the ingredients, it does have uh, perfume or fragrance listed in there. Uh, it's down towards the bottom of the ingredient list. Again, I'll have that down below in the description box along with wear time information for this. But I feel like I can't really smell anything. So even though fragrance is listed, it's a very, very light fragrance. You know, if I'm really trying hard, it smells maybe slightly fruity, but it's not something I picked up on. Like I, when I was applying it, I didn't smell it. I don't smell it on my lips. I don't taste it. So there is fragrance, but it is pretty minimal. Okay, so as for the shimmer versus non-shimmer shades, I don't notice any real difference in the formula between the two. So I don't feel any, you know, shimmer particles or anything. It's not gritty. When I first applied number three, Sunrise, I thought that perhaps I was feeling something, but by the time I finished actually putting on my lips and was able to rub them together, I really couldn't find anything. So either there's something there that kind of melts in and you don't feel it, or it was just kind of my lips, you know, I, it was just kind of in my head. And I only noticed it with number three, Sunrise, with the other two, uh, four and four, five, I did not notice any of that either. So um, it was probably in my head, but again, I will leave any information that I notice uh, throughout the rest of the day down below in the description box. Now, wear time, I do think that these might be able to stick around on your lips a little bit longer than some glosses because it does have that thicker texture to it, which is really nice. Another thing that I like about this thicker texture is that it really does have a really nice shine to it. And 
I feel like it just, you know, makes my lips glisten. And even though there's no like flumping of them, I feel like because of the luster of these glosses, I they look plumper. So they're not technically a plumping gloss, but I feel like they just look better. Okay, so just a note about the size. When you look at this, it looks like it is a small lip gloss and it looks like you know you're really not getting a lot for your money's worth especially when you compare them to you know some other brands so we've got chanel here pat mcgrath yves saint laurent and actually the sisley has more ounces so the sisley again is 0.21 ounces the chanel is 0.19 ounces pat mcgrath is 0.15 ounces and the yves saint laurent is 0.2 ounces so it is a pricey gloss but you know it's you are getting slightly more so that might make you feel a little bit better okay so as for my thoughts on these lip glosses i really really like them so it might be love i'm not sure yet i have to wear them a little bit longer but i think they are fantastic i think the packaging is adorable and you know, I thought maybe it was pretty small, but I was su very happily surprised to see that compared to other brands, it's really just slightly more. They're all kind of comparable, but you know, it is a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Now, as for the shades that I purchased, I really like all of the shades that I got. Um, I personally really do like shimmery lip glosses, so I don't usually go for ones without shimmer too much. And this one is kind of almost clear on my lips uh, just a little touch of pink which although that might make it something that I wouldn't technically go for if I were to purchase again they always end up being colors that I use all the time because that's the type of gloss that you know I like to put on top of a lipstick when I don't really want to change the color or I'm just touching up throughout the day and you know I just yeah so I end up actually using these light colors a lot more than I would think so um, yeah, I really like all of them. I definitely wouldn't hesitate to purchase any of these shades that I did, uh, again, but if I were to leave one off, it probably would be number eight Milky Way because I do have a couple other glosses that are kind of similar to this one in tone. As for the formula, I love this formula so far. I love the way it feels on my lips and I love how there is no overpowering scent or anything. And, you know, I just feel like it feels moisturizing. It feels luxurious and, you know, it's just very pleasant to wear. So I really like the way these feel. So one more thing to know about the packaging that I just picked up on is it does have the Sisley logo here at the top. So that's on top of the lid. It's just a little imprint. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. And if you're interested in supporting this channel, please, like, comment, subscribe, and share. So hit the like button down below, leave a comment in the comment field, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a great day.